OpenAI O3 Mini model is one of the most underhyped released recently. Despite all sorts of different one-shot coding examples that people have been sharing on Twitter, what's really interesting about O3 Mini model, it is a reasoning model that supports function calling structure output. It is also 93% cheaper than O1 model, but four times faster, meaning O3 Mini model is probably the first reasoning model that is good enough for building real production agents. And OpenAI today released a deep research mode in ChatGPT. It is a fine-tuned O3 model specifically designed for research agents, and the result seems really good, much better than normal GPT-4 O-based research agent we saw before. As a deep research agent is taking not only one round of research actions, but multiple rounds of actions alongside reflection, result synthesis, adjusted research planning that enable it to do much deeper research than we can before. And this is a great early example showcasing how reasoning model gonna really shape the landscape of agents at 2025. Those new IQs we got from the inference stage of our reasoning model gonna overcome a lot of hurdles that we have been fighting for with normal chat model like GPT-40. And considering the price of O3 Mini model is so much lower that it's even lower than GPT-40, we should really start trying and adopting reasoning model for your autonomous agent systems. But one question you might have is how much additional performance you can gain from swapping your GPT-40 model to O3 Mini model for your agent system. That's why today I want to show you how can we replicate this deep research agent using reasoning model like O3 Mini or DeepSeq R1. And we'll do side-by-side -side comparison of the same research task between those reasoning agents versus normal agents. So let's get it. I'm going to quickly put together two research agents between the reasoning model versus non-reasoning model and let them test through a few GAIA benchmark tasks. GAIA is a benchmark introduced by Meta, where it has a huge data set for general AI assistant tasks, including a lot of research tasks that involve a huge amount of research, synthesize, and summarization ability. And each of tasks normally require a list of different actions and steps to take to be able to answer the question. And each question will have a very clear, unambiguous answer so that we can verify whether the task has been completed properly or not. And to making sure this benchmark data is not public and queryable, I'm going to hide away all the answers in this video and only tell you whether the agent passed or failed. But if you want to see the specific data set, you can go to Hugging face and search for GAIA. And this research agent itself is going to be a basic tool calling agent. It will have access to a list of different scrapers. If you're not familiar with tool calls, it is key components that enable the agent systems. It is basically a special mode of large language model that can output what type of actions agents should take and what's the input param. If you want to dive deeper, you can join the AI Builder Club community where I have full deep dive of how can you build production agent from scratch, not relying on any frameworks. And for this deep research agent with O3 Mini, we're going to do something similar. We'll define a basic agent with a system prompt that you are an internet researcher, you always use tools to find latest internet data based on research topic and give detailed and comprehensive results, never make up information. But the model will be O3 Mini and the reasoning efforts I put at high. You can swap to low or median as well. Generally, more efforts large language models spend on reasoning, better result it will be, but it is balanced between speed and reasoning accuracy. And we'll pass on the message as well as a list of tools that we will define. After large language model generate result, we'll append the tool calling message into conversation history. If there's no tool call anymore, which means the large language model thinks the task has been finished, then we'll just return the final response it gives. But if it does output any tool call, then we'll extract the function name and try to call any inputs. Then call the action function, get a result, and insert the tool call re response. This process will be repeated multiple times until agent thinks they finished task and output the final response. So this is basically a replicate of deep research agent with O3 Mini model. As you can see, it's actually very basic and straightforward. The rest will just need to define a list of tools that it can have access to. One is a scraping website where there are platforms like Filecrawl and Spider Cloud, as well as Google Search, where I'm using Serper for the Google Search API. And you can also bring more and more different types of scraper like LinkedIn, Instagram from scraper marketplace like API5 and Rapid API. Here are two examples I got from each platform. And in the end, I also added a tool called Reflection where I want the model to do a reflection before it gives the final answer. And of course, you can add more and more different tools and data scraper to make your deep research better in specific vertical research. Then you will need to define a list of tool schema. So tool schema will communicate to the large language model when to use this tool and what is the input that it needs to generate for running this tool. So you don't actually need to write everything yourself. You can go to OpenAI Playground, click on Add Functions, 
and this is generate button. You can just copy the actual function and paste it. This will generate a schema that you can just paste in directly. And we need to repeat this process for every single function that you want the agent to run. And in the end, do a mapping about if the agent tried to call this function what is the exact function name? So I just replicate that in this notebook. Load the package, define the environment key, the basic tool calling agent that we just talked about for O3 mini model as well as for O model. We define a list of different tools and now we're gonna compare the results. The first research task is that I'm researching species that became invasive after people who kept them as pet released them. There are certain species of fish that was popularized as a pet by being the main character of the movie Find Nemo. According to the USGS, where was the fish found as a no-native species before the year 2020? I need an answer format as a five-digit zip code of the places the species was found, separate by comma if there are more than one places. So this is pretty complex research query because it requires not only you go online, find some information, but it requires quite a strong synthesis and transformation of the information found. Like it requires them to know what's the main character in the movie Finding Nemo and also need to convert that into five digit zip codes of the place they found. And let's test out. First, they run the 4.0 agent. So as you can find, it did take a few actions, but in the end, it couldn't find the information about zip code of the location. But now let's try the O3 deep research agent that we built. And here you can see the O3 agent does take a bit longer, but it also successfully found a result. So this first task, the O3 mini based agent passed and GPT-40 agent failed. The next one I want to test is in Natural Journal's scientific reports conference proceeding from 20, in the article that didn't mention plasmons or plasmonic, what nano compound is studied? Don't use prefix nano in your answer if there's one. So this is also a pretty complex research. You need to scroll a huge amount of data and then do some synthesis in the end. So in this example, when I run the 4.0 agent, it is giving the wrong answer. But when I'm using O3 mini agent, the answer is correct. And this was quite interesting because I was testing the same task in the deep research function in ChatGPT. Even deep research got it wrong here after four minutes research. This also aligned with a few other tasks I did. So in general, I found for tasks that require a huge amount of planning as well as synthesis, like a research, O3 mini generally deliver better results than GPT-40 agent. But there are also cases where both agents fail, and that task was successfully resolved with deep research. And when I look at the source, I think the key things here is that ChatGPT seems has better scripting tool. It can access a few websites that the normal scripter that I was using just couldn't access. So I do think you can build very good research agent in specific vertical research topics if you can bring more and more specific data scraper in. So with this quick example, I do really think if your agent tasks require very complex planning and synthesis, you should definitely swap out the model to O3 mini model to try whether it gain better performance for those complex tasks. And I believe this is just the very first step towards this new era of agents where it is utilizing those reasoning capabilities. If you want to learn more about building agents and large language model applications, I'll put this notebook in the AI Builder Club community so you can use that template to build more and more sophisticated vertical research agent. And there are also tutorials of how to deploy this agent as API service that you can use in other workflows. I have put the link in the description below so you can click and join. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you and I'll see you next time.